And welcome back here to Singapore Indoor Stadium and the order of play for this afternoon and the next match coming up is uh, mixed doubles. The qualifiers from uh, Indonesia, Rival Lee and Mintari against uh, Gosun Wat and Shiwan Lei of Malaysia. Here we have the mixed doubles draw. And as you can see, goes from what and Chiwan Lai is uh, the second seed, the bottom half. And they are up against the, the world junior champions from 2017. The two young ones from Indonesia, Rivaldi and Mintari. And here we got Rivaldi. Rinov Rivaldi from Indonesia leading the players onto court, followed by his partner, Mintari. And then it's uh, Shiwan Lai, the left hander from Malaysia, followed by the former men's singles player, Gosun Wat of Malaysia. And the head-to-head -head between these two pairs. Quite normally when a young pair is coming up, like the Indonesians, they haven't played a lot. They actually only play three international senior tournaments. You want black so you want no head-to-heads between Red. these two pairs. Receive. Receive. Who is going to receive? Pita. Pita. Shiva, left side. So this pair we see on court in black t-shirts are the world junior champions from 2017 and they had to go through qualification here uh, the other day to get into the main draw and here we got uh, Siobhan Lai she's uh, 24 years of age 169 and the ranking at the moment is eight and they have been as High as number six, and that was actually just a few weeks ago, which was on the 5th of July this year. The partner here is Gosun Wat, age 28, 179. The same ranking apply, and as I just mentioned earlier, in 2016, he was uh, removed or moved into mixed doubles. And uh, what a successful conversion that has been from men's singles to mixed doubles for Gosun Huat. Been all the way up to number six in the world, I can tell you that in the men's singles, the highest he got was number 42. The way for Gosun Huat and Shiwan Lai has been comfortable, I would say, but in the first round against he and Citra from Singapore, they do did have to fight very hard in the second game, winning 22-20. But the match only lasted 30 minutes. So you can't really say that they are tired going into this quarterfinal. And the profile here of Peter Mintari. As you can see, she's very young. Age 19, 157, and the ranking is 142. The highest uh, they have been is 135, but as I say, please don't be deceived. Uh, they play much better than that. They have only three ranking tournaments counting towards their world ranking. Rinov Rivaldi is uh, half a year younger. He's still only 18, 174, and again, the same ranking applies, 142. But he has been as high as 89 with another partner from Indonesia. On paper, this may be look like uh, great favorites for Malaysia, but let's go again here. You can see qualification. They won in straight games, but since then they had to fight really, really hard. But the match against Lamsfuss and Hestrich of Germany, that win in the second round was actually an awesome win 
They, they beat number five seed, and that was totally unexpected. Really fine performance by the two Indonesians. And the umpire is Giappini of Italy. And the Ladies and gentlemen, is Trish on my right, of Lawson Tra, Shevon Jemi, Lei, Malaysia. Go on my left, Lino Rivaldi, Pita Anjas, Mentari, Indonesia. Shevon Jemi, Lei, you serve to Pita Anjas, Mentari. Bravo. Play. Yes, yeah, so this mixed doubles is going to be exciting. I think on paper, as you mentioned, it, it doesn't look close with the ranking, but no. it, definitely Indonesia on the far side. Very tricky rackets. Uh, they won the World Juniors just last year, so a lot of potential to be on top of the world, and I, I think that'll make a, a good match match up here. I think so too, and um, and uh, I, I also think uh, if you are going to play a top ten pair um, in, in mixed doubles, uh, I would probably prefer to play maybe this pair from Malaysia because they are still also quite raw when it comes to international mixed doubles. As I mentioned earlier, Gosun Huat is, uh, is, is a former men's singles player. And uh, before this pair teamed up, um, Shiwan Lai was uh, around 40 on the world ranking in mixed doubles as her best. So they are not that experienced. So if you're going to choose a top 10 player pair, uh, I would probably choose this one. But they have done extremely well, the two Malaysians, and, and made that top ten. And they are obviously here to, to prove that uh, they are ready for the World Championships coming up very shortly. And getting on attack is a key. Three. Go away. Put away. Two. Yes, they have nice flat shots. And she won't obviously cover that forehand really well. But sometimes uh, her defense has got a little bit of asking. Three. Easy one and a mistake. So early in the year. Um, the Malaysians really had a good start to 2018. And uh, they got to the semi-final of uh, the Malaysian Masters and then the semi-final of the Indonesian Masters, quarter-final of India Open, and then they won the German Open just the week before the, uh, the All England in March. But ever since that, it has been a little bit of an uphill. So uh, they're also trying to see if they can regain that kind of form that they had early 2018. And that goes out the back. Five, all. Oh. Oh. Six, five. Momentary. Oh. Trying to find the net soon. 
Nice flat shots, gets her racket up, places it, and then puts it away. Hi. Go with the big smash, change of angle, comes Seven. across. Seven. Seven. Six. Always looking that mid court shot, you want to get there as soon as possible. Very relaxed grip, and not to the last second, he'll try to play it nice and flat. But with that relaxed grip, he's also tricky, so that's what the Indonesians do so well. Nice, relaxed grip, and then can play different shots all around the court. Well, as you can see, Goes Nwat really quick around the court, um, very aggressive in his way of play and thinking. And um, of course, using his time from his men's singles, and uh, is really covering the court quite well. Nine, four. Cuts that yep. one off nice and easy. Ten. To rack it up. Nine. You always have to think when you're playing a left-handed player because it doesn't work if you're playing it to the net. No, you always have to consider who you're playing and, uh, of course, what hand they're playing and all that and what shots you, you can apply for certain situations. And if you don't think you get caught, that's for sure, right there. Exactly, that's <laughs> what it was a good setup when she flicks wide, yeah. runs right in, that's her forehand and puts yeah. it away. Yeah. But that comes down to inexperience still for the World Junior Champions here. Really getting caught. Had he any option, he would have, should have gone cross court on that one. Very smart from Lai, gets up on it. Well, it's especially in mixed doubles, you're always trying to think that next shot or the next two shots, even before you hit it, is always these setup shots. Yeah. Here we got the uh, confirmation 11 9 in six minutes. Seconds. And we show uh, Coach Pang Chu Chang just the, the back of him, um, coaching the uh, Malaysian team here. 11-9. Play. Nice shot, nice. Wow. And I'm moving the other Nine. direction. This is it nicely. Flick that time too long. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, a big risk factor to, to flick when you're playing on, on the fast end. And um, for those of you out there who are not completely familiar with it, I would like to mention there's a drift alongside of the court and it comes from the behind the angle here, exactly where the Malaysian are standing, which means that they play with the drift, and that means that 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 their shots are possibly 25, 30 centimeters longer than normal, which uh, is something they have to take into account when they play their shots. On the other hand, the others are playing on the slow end and can hit harder and still keep it in. So for those of you out there not familiar with that situation, I'll try to explain it a little bit. 11, 
Lutin. So when the Malaysians get on attack, that's what they want to do. They have actually more power hitting down as well. Yeah. So when you're they lifting, have. you have to be very careful. Even the confidence on, on defense, too, when you're on defense and, and lifting in doubles, it's very hard to control. Keeps pressure on on that one. Zagzova, 13, 14. Just watch the way he uses his racket. And, the, and again, it's the Indonesians. They have so much power in the, the fingers, and they snap it. Playing Arnie Morinata and Calgary for playing doubles. <laughs> Off the serve every time. He has about five different options that he can just snap it. And it's the last second to do it. I'd be reminded he was not a doubles player. No. <laughs> but you get him on a court, he's <laughs> very tricky. Oh. So the Malaysian favourites, uh, the number two seeds here in the tournament. They're 15, 14 up, but he's still very close. And the World Junior Champions from Indonesia are still hanging in there. Good play by Sun Huat, really nicely played. Again, reversed, played down the line. Six really good shot. Four but in. you have to uh, admire the, the courage here. This one here, that's courage. The one that Rivaldi is playing, trying to get that initiative back. You know, he's just 18 years of age, and there's somebody standing up there, and he's still daring to yes. play. Yeah. I love that. That's really good. You have to have that confidence to play that net and not be worried, and, and that's what he's trying to do. You've got to play it, no matter what. Smash goes cross court on that one. But he is quick. He gets behind that shot. He has so many 17, different options. 15. Nice, great height. One back here. Same goes here. Goes from what? A very simple block shot. Missed. So, back to square one. Ventari serving. 17 18. Nineteen seventeen. So the Malaysian just two points away from taking this first oh. game, and that is very nice to close down by Shuan Lai here. 20. This time on the backhand side. Game giving point. three game points. 17. 
Yes, again, she's always looking, looking for the next shot. She's a very, very traditional mixed doubles player, if you can say that. She's always looking at the net, trying to avoid getting to the back as much as possible. And first time of asking, 21-17 for Gosun Huat. Gwen Lei off Malaysia. And here we've got the confirmation, 14 minutes, 21-17. But it's interesting to see that uh, the two young ones, the two world junior champions, they've lost their two opening games in the two previous matches quite heavily. Uh, they lost 21-10 and the other one they lost 21-13, despite the fact they came back to win in the three games. So let's see what they can do here. And the two young ones here from Indonesia, coached by one of the best, Rita Marisa of Indonesia. And here we have uh, one of the more colourful supporters from Indonesia. They love their badminton. They certainly do. All around the world supporting their favorite players, but uh, definitely playing in Jakarta is, is incredible. Yeah, that's an experience in itself. So if you ever get Court the chance, one, please go and watch it. Seconds. Absolutely. Court one, 20 seconds. Malaysia takes the first game, 21-17, but as you mentioned, the Indonesians drop all of their first games and uh, able to pull it off in the second and third, so let's see if they can turn this one around. And especially, I think, in that second round, as earlier mentioned, against the Germans, they lost 13 in the first, but then winning 14 and 15. Oh. Oh, good smash again. He comes in so quick. He's looking for that mid-court shot. Gets under it and puts it down. Yeah, it goes very quick on the other side, his, his footwork. Watch how he flies up to it. Right there, just... Changes the angle again. A quick flick to the back. And too much. Well, I was talking to Liliana Nats here before this match, and uh, she's one of the best ever mixed doubles players. I'm a champion, world champion many times. Anyway, she said these guys had a lot of potential and uh, maybe the next up and coming in the mixed Three. doubles for Indonesia. So. Uh, One. From her saying that, that's uh, that an counts honor. a lot, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. And just to revert back to that uh, win against the Germans, uh, the two Germans, uh, Lamsfuss and Hertrich, they're number 15 on the world ranking, and they're winning. You know, they're just 18 and 19 years old. That's pretty good, isn't it? It is. Yes. Four. One. They're allowing Go to attack, and I, th I think that's where they're getting into problems. Yeah, again, like in the, in, in the, oh. in the singles, it's all about, again, winning right. the initiative. You, you yeah. have to you get that in initiative, then you get the lift, you get the control, you can choose the shots you want to play and all that. So it's all about that control, and that's why Nazi is so good. She controls that net so well. Nats here and Marissa Six. once in uh, Indonesia, One. and it was 
incredible how tricky they are, but uh, they know what they're doing. They, they play so well and... Uh, yeah, they were a very strong pair in those days as well in the, in the women's doubles. And here Malaysia is, is off to a very good start, 6-1. And uh, they're really holding the, the fort very well together here. And here comes the big, big smash. It's that short lift, though, that they're getting into, into trouble. Seven. Yeah, under pressure Four. to get the, the shot in the first place. This one here, under pressure there, and then, of course, to recover. Look at the face, not happy. But good play by uh, by the Malaysians. First, uh, Shawan Lai was very strong in her defence, and then later on, of course, the big smash from uh, Gosen Huat finished it all off. Oh. It's going out. A little lucky, but again, it was Shawan Lai yeah, that off. cut off. She's in the right spot. Yeah. If you watch where she's standing, Seven. it seems like she's she's finding the right spots. Hard enough, it bounces over. Not much you can do for it. Go with the point. Good return from Men Mentari. So really finding her spots and Four. right off the serve, and, and that Nine. put the pressure on. By by watching uh, Mentari play, I know she's very young. She's just 19, 19 years old, and and she's she's doing well. Uh, however, in order to improve her game. She needs to be stronger in the attacking situation as well. She needs to be able to score points for the partnership. And at the moment, she's not really scoring. And thank you very much. <laughs> Commentator's <laughs> curse. But this is really, really beautiful. This is what I'm looking at. You know, I'm, I'm looking to see, can she score points like that? And suddenly, out of the blue, it comes. But this is what I mean. She's got to put layer on layer and keep doing stuff like this. Shivan Lai here serving. 10 6 up. Ah! Flick to the back and. Uh, 11 6 in the hole. The ball the into the net. This time it makes a lot, lot more sense to flick it because she's standing against the drift. Here we've got confirmation 11 6 in nine minutes. Did you 
So the three uh, senior tournaments this pair has played on the circuit this year, 2018, was uh, Vietnam International Challenge, where they got to the semi-final. China Masters, they got to the quarter-finals. And the Malaysian International Six. Challenge, where they got to the quarter-final. Seven. And here we have uh, the chief coach, head coach for mixed doubles, oh. Pang Chi Chang. Just taking over from uh, Chin Hui. Hui. Used to be the uh, mixed doubles head coach, but uh, they are still working together, those two, and they've done a great job in the Eleven. mixed doubles department in Malaysia. Yes, they sure have, and Chin Hui was number one in the world for a bit there in the women's doubles with one Pei Tei. Yes. off the net and tough one to return and uh so put it away just seems like the malaysians aren't allowing the indonesians to get into their game you've seen some great stuff from them earlier in the, in the tournament and yeah i think it's, it's very important for the for the malaysians that they um, they take a you know, firm grip full control don't allow the the young ones to just feel or sense that they have the smallest and slightest chance. And I think they're doing really well in, in, in you know, stamping their authority on things. And keeping the pressure off it and yes. goals, not letting any hit the floor and big smashes. Yeah, it's, it's very important. And he, he has done well, haven't made uh, hardly any mistakes and uh, finished whatever he is supposed to finish off. So he has played quite solidly. Lie to put it away, but you're right, they, they work well to, together okay. actually. Hey. Go really trying to set his partner up right there and lie to put it in the ground. Oh. 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 It was a surprise last time for Malaysia to win a medal in the mixed doubles at the Rio Olympic Games. Hey. Yes, um, really part of the success, the success of Chin uh, Hui and, and the partnership with Pang Chu Chang as well was the fact that Pan uh, Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying uh, got the silver at the uh, Olympics in 2016 in, in Rio. Nine, fifteen. held that one again goes footwork he's always covering yeah, that mid court and that really makes a difference Six, gets his eight, racket on it nine. watch this the finger power right there right in the corner and he is quick he's always looking for that mid court shots getting on it getting on attack no doubt as the singles player as well he was a he was a fast singles player he just uh, really found it very difficult to to maintain his stamina in the singles. He, he got worn out eventually, won the first match, maybe the second match, and then you could see he started feeling the pressure physically as well. And and here in mixed doubles, uh, his fitness from singles he can use as well. Right, yes. And it's, it's, it's really to his advantage. Four. Eleven. 
16. Again, off the net. Yeah, that was a lucky little board here by uh, Shimon yeah. Lai. Try to have a look at this one. Just clipping the top of the tape before it's go uh, go down on the on the floor. Eighteen. Eleven. All over, but the Indonesians they can't find that back lane. They can't find the spots, and it's it's. Two things uh, the Malaysians aren't allowing them to, plus uh, it just seems like they didn't get into a rhythm at all. I think we have a challenge here. Goal challenge is out. Goal out. I think that was out the back. Challenge and successful. Only out. It was way out. <laughs> yeah, Should unsuccessful. You can say It places it to the net. And he follows it up nicely. 19. Well. What was that cross? That's what did it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Happily. Uh, that was good play. But in that rally just prior to this one, we actually saw a situation where match point 12. Mentari had an opportunity to put to it away, and that's, she just didn't that's do what it. She has but, to but that's history already. Yeah. We're not going to go there. To the next level, that's what she'll. Yeah, 2012 work match point for Malaysia. So Putting the pressure on, right off of serve on that one. Yeah, and uh, short ready, short uh, match. I would say I, I had expected a little bit uh, more fight from the Indonesians, but uh, the two Malaysians here, they really played well. They really put their authority on it. And uh, Go Sun Huat and Lai. Shewan Lai won 21-17, 21-13. That's the thing. I think Go was playing so quick, kept the pressure on, lie in the right spots, putting it away, and, and they didn't give them the opportunity to turn it around at all. They were all over the Indonesians just from the get-go and, and playing well and, and pulled it off in two straight games. But still a lot of promises in these two young Indonesians. And as we see, the players are leaving the court. We've got the confirmation, 21-17, 21-13 in just 32 minutes. Go Sun Huat and Siobhan Lai ready for tomorrow's semi-final.